Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to create a graph in Unity. We're going to add some customizable labels to our axis separators. Let's get started. So here I have the graph from the previous video with my data points and the axis separators. Right now the X axis is displaying the index of each data point, and on the Y axis it's displaying the value of that data point. Instead, let's customize the label text on the x-axis to say something like day 1, day 2, day 3, and so on. And on the y-axis, let's display the value as a dollar amount. So, we previously created this graph here, which is displaying all of our values. Our values are represented in code as a list of integers. So now for a bit of polish, let's customize the label text. So let's say in here, instead of posting the index, we want to say something different like day 1, day 2, day 3, and so on. And here, let's say we want to display it in dollars instead of just values. So in here on my show graph, I'm also going to receive two funks. The funks are in using system. Now a func is a delegate that returns something. So in this case, we're going to use a func to get a label for my x axis. The x axis is in an int and it will return a string. And let's call it get axis label x and make the same thing for my y axis, label y, except this one takes a float. Let's make these values optional so we still have the default functionality. So let's set equals null. And here let's validate our inputs. So if get axis label x, if it is null, then let's do the same thing we were doing previously. So we're going to create a get axis label x, which will be a delegate that receives an int and it's going to return a string. Now the string that it will return, in the case of our default behavior, we have in here just the i.toString. So go into in here and return the i.toString. So this is the default behavior in case we send null in here. For the y, let's copy this, set the y, which actually takes a float. And for my y, you can see down here, this is what I'm displaying by default. So this is what I'm going to go in here and display. We are rounding the float value and displaying it as a string. Okay, so let's use these functions when we go down here. So for my label x, instead of displaying the i, I'm going to use that func to send it the i and it will return a string. And down here, when I'm making the y separators, when I set the text, let's make the get axis label y and I'm going to send it the value, which is the normalized value, multiplied by the y maximum. Okay, so we have set up the defaults to function exactly the same as previously. So let's go back into our scene, make sure everything is working exactly the same. And there you have it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 10, 20. Okay, great. Now let's actually apply some funks so we can modify the label text. So up here on my show graph, for my get axis label x, I'm going to receive an int and I'm going to return some string. Then I'm going to have the get axis label y, which will receive a float and return another string. Now in here for my y, let's say I wanted to say day and then the i plus one, so it doesn't start with zero. So the first one will say day one, day two, day three, and so on. And for my float in here, let's say I want to say dollars and then still do a math f dot round to int of my float. Okay, so we should now be correctly displaying our custom labels as we want. And yep, there you go. The x label is now saying day one, day two, day three, day four, and so on. And for my y axis, it is displaying a dollar amount. So there you have it. We have added the ability to customize the labels in our axes. This way you can clearly describe whatever information you're trying to graph. In the next video, we're going to automatically modify the scale of our graph based on our list of values. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, see you next time.